Hi guys, welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions, this is Epsilon. <laughs> so, last time we cleared the castle city of Zaland, and had some unfortunate, uh, how do you say, audio problems. <laughs> so, yeah, my video and audio are recorded and linked together, and I don't really have the software at the moment to be able to, like, separate them so I could fix the audio problems. So, I tried, it was worse, I actually had to speed up some of it, so that I wasn't talking like this the entire time. I don't know why, I have no idea why I did that either. It's just, it just did. So, whatever. Hopefully it doesn't happen this time. <laughs> or if it does, I'll have time to re-record. <laughs> so, yay. Anyways, uh, today we are going to be heading to Balius Tor, which totally sounds like a Lord of the Rings place. Anyways, uh... Uh, nothing has changed between episodes, mostly because I didn't want to leave and have you miss this. Lionel Castle, Castle Highness, do you see it? Just beyond those mountains. We still have a journey ahead. Do you think Cardinal Delacour will aid us? The Cardinal is said to be a man with utmost devotion to the Crown, Highness. Even amidst this turmoil, he has held the middle ground, siding with neither Duke Larg nor Duke Goltana. I do not think a man to sully his honor. Yeah. I do not think him a man to sully his honor by handing you over to either side. I pray you are right. He has influence with the Church of Galabados. A word from him, and the Church itself will take you under its protection. Would that I were born no princess. My lady. My entire life has been spent behind sacred walls, the only sky I've known hemmed in by slate and stone. Did you know before I was sent to Orvon, I was in another monastery? When I heard I was to be the adopted daughter of the late king and after, ever in a monastery, it's not been such a bad life, I suppose, only... Only knowing that men die for no more reason than I am the princess, it's almost more than I can bear. Highness, you must not blame yourself. The fault lies with those who would use you for their own ends. There was another girl at Orban. She told me too. She told me she too had lived her entire life within monastery walls. We joked that we, sh we should share so strange a fate. A funny thing to laugh at. Don't you think? You speak of Lady Alma, of House Beowulf. My only true friend. What if Cardinal Jellicoy makes to use me, like all the rest? <laughs> Awkward silence. Ramza, where have you gotten off to? It's almost time to leave. I didn't think to find you here. What are you doing? What news have you? All is quiet. It would seem the Northern Order hasn't reached Zalan for the time. A friend once showed me how to do this, but I'm afraid I've got never quite gotten it right. Ugh. There's a sound. Just like that. It's simple, you see? Like this. It's really not so hard, is it? <laughs> Out of context sayings! Okay. Anyways, on to the city of Balius Tor. <sighs> Fighting! We have to take Ramza. Uh, I don't actually remember this fight. And this is the first time I've tried it this playthrough. The fact that I don't remember it makes me think it's probably really just kind of meh. Meh. Ooh, this time. Ooh, indeed. More chocobos. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we'll get we'll take my bungo. Man bungo. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who our force should be. There's no one I don't 
think I particularly need. We gave King Tuba his, his chance to shine, and he kind of did. I mean, he tanked some pretty heavy hits without taking any damage, so there's that. Um, let's take Rome. Yes, let's take Rome. Immense battle! Media.o. Valius Tor. No, it's not. It's just a random fight. You there! We have no quarrel with you, leastwise not yet. Our quarrel lies with Mustadio. Give him over and be on your way. Our way is his. If you wish no quarrel, I advise you withdraw. And when you next see Ludovic, remind him that those who live by deceit are first to die by it. Pity. We'll have the boy by force then. Defeat all enemies. Hmm. Yes, commence, please. Go. Go, go. Oh, yes, kill the summoners. Ah, oh, this is the first time we will have really fought summoners. And I don't know if I've shown uh, the summoner we currently have working summoning spells. I don't think King Tuba... I don't think he got a chance... Whoa, whoa, you're not sure. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't think King Tuba got a chance to actually show off any summon spells. I think he lost all of his MP before then. Go, Agris. Do something awesome. Or don't. That's fine. So yeah, you'll probably get to see them here, and they're going to wreck my face. Summoner spells are really expensive, and really big, and do a lot of damage, and can't hit your allies, or can't hit your enemies. If it's a healing buff summon. Ow! Ow! That literally hurt so much that I need to heal immediately, because... I have to. Might as well get started early. Hopefully we can take these guys down. Um, I think... And if I target you, will eat both of you? 52%. Or... Move you over here. Ah, excuse me. So that you can still get hit by the spell. And attack this fool right here. Hit him. Hit him hard. Oh, that is really hard. 64 damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, haste, please lay out one of you. I don't know why haste is such a low chance of hitting these guys. Oh, thank god. It was the one that does the most damage, too. <clears throat> oh. That felt weird. Oh. It's four squares. That's... She's totally not casting a summoning spell. Ah! ah no, no, no. Fire? All the spells you can cast, you go with Fyra. And it was 67 damage. Who am I to judge? <coughs> Glacial shards. Is that... Shiva? Shiva! For one person! I mean, I, I guess we're not in range for you to hit anybody else, but... Like, look at all of us clumped over here. That could have easily hit all of us. Go, Mustadio! Yes, yes, go! Move back so we can heal you. Thank you, Mustadio. Mustadio! That's really fun to say. No, no, ah. Uh. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Shoot this man in the face. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. And wait. Go, Agrius. Get up there. Get up there and do something. No. Okay. Just, just stand around. That's fine. <laughs> oh, my. There's something caught in my throat. And it hurts. 
I don't know what it is. There we go. Okay. That'll give you some extra time. Actually, I am totally not moving unless I have to. Get... I... Well, actually, I could cast it like right here. Yes. In an attempt to cast it on them. Her and Rune again. You get everybody hasted. Go so fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go so fast. So, uh, there's not a lot to talk about this battle. There's nothing. There's nothing story related going on other than. Oh no! There's nothing really story going on other than Mustadio has people after him. Something we already knew. So, woo. Okay. Guess you'll just wait then. Go, Agrius. That's okay. I mean, that's not bad. No, don't, don't walk back. Oh, Agrius, what are you doing? There's a summon spell that's gonna hit everybody and be incredibly painful. There's a. Well, I, I don't think it's another. Let's get you out of here. You take a potion. And then move back as far as you can. <laughs> Just all the way back. It was like, no, all the way back here. <laughs> Just like, nope, no, I need to heal. Okay, that's gonna hurt. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Rainfred? His name is Wainfred? Can you shoot the summoner? Yes! Okay, that's why I gave him arm shot over leg shot. <laughs> so that his spells would do jack diddly and squat. Get Roms over here. Just healing everybody without moving. Ugh, stop. Stop that. When they're near the top of the screen like that, it instead shifts my perspective when I try to click them. Touch controls. I accept them. It's, it's, it's one of the... This is one of the best versions of this game, the PSP remake. And the Android version got rid of a lot of the, uh, the slowdown. The PSP version, for some reason, was afflicted with just, like, awful slowdown. Just terrible. And it made battles drag on. And they fixed it in the Android version. I use the term fix loosely. They actually just sped everything up. Which is why Shiver comes out and is like, <laughs> And it's done. Oh, I was not aware it was actually targeted on him. Ow! I'm a spleen! Uh, let's try and get rums uh, yeah. Let's try and get Rums to split up. So he can heal people even faster. Magics. Peace. Right on Rums. 73%. That's... That's... That's pretty good. It's not a hundred. Unfortunately. <laughs> Cracker Jacks. What are you doing? God, what's the time mage dead? I was about to say, please don't spend your, your time healing round. Oh, yes. Love it. Ow. Solus. That's a name. Oh, oh, and she got in the way of the blow. That's it, very nice of her. Um, where is Nembundo? Yep, I didn't mean to do that. That's gonna happen so many times. This is one of those, like, vertical battle areas. One of the things that I like... Yeah, you all are in the way. Move. One of the things I like about the tactics version over the one, the uh, advanced versions, the, like, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and A2, is that in tactics, the battlefields feel more dynamic in the advanced series. Oh, for a second I thought he just shot Mulkster, and I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> but you didn't, so never mind. Is that... Anybody? 
<laughs> She's like, I can't cast spells. I'm done. I'm done. Ah, I'm out. Get him. Get him. Mmm. Look at that pain. So, yeah, in the advanced versions, the... Uh, the battlefields are stuck from one perspective, and you're just kind of facing it from that direction. So there's no, like, behind places. Like... Like, here... We have this, like, hill that's going up in the middle, and then it has the two sides on it. If we were to play the tactics version, we would have a perspective like this, I guess, and the, the other side of this hill just wouldn't exist, like, because you couldn't turn to look at the back of it, so we'd only have, like, the front of this hill and the area, like, in front of it, and that would be it. Which, I mean... I can understand why, especially on the, the Game Boy Advance version, because they were working with a more limited, uh, I forgot the word was word, like, more limited hardware, but for the, the DS version, for A2, I don't really understand why they couldn't, because, oh, you're disabled, War Off. How lucky. <laughs> you're gonna shoot aggroots in the face, you're so rude. Um, because for the DS version, I think it was almost as powerful as an N64, wasn't it? It could play ports of N64 games, so... I would certainly hope so. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, Cracker Jacks, this is what happens when I'm talking and not paying attention. Oops. Shoot him. Oh yeah! Right in the back of the head. That was actually really dark. You block it, Acrius. You go, girl. Oh. You're being a total beast. Wasting the phoenix down. Such waste. Wanton waste. You just stay back here with everybody. It'll be fine. Hmm. I guess I can move back into it if I really want you to get a chance to get hasted. Go Agrius. You're like boss in this fight. You are much better than you were last time. <laughs> Congrats. You obtained that 18 gil. Lucky you. Oh, I feel that damage. So much damage. I can't wait until I get his monk ability that lets him heal himself. Smokester will be fairly unstoppable, assuming... Well, of course, now all three of you are hasted. He'll be fairly unstoppable, assuming nobody gets, like, a, a stop or something on him. Ah, just out of my range. Take this chance to heal them. Come on. Maybe Miss Stadio can do something to stop her. Guns do have a larger range. There we go. Shoot her. Disabled. <laughs> I'm disabled. <laughs> Only some of you will get that reference. I'll make sure to put it in the tags. It's a hilarious show. Hilarious. Terran, no! You died! I barely knew ye! And I took your silken robe. Weren't you a knight? Why were you wearing a silken robe? What? What? Just in case. Agrius, here you go. <laughs> She's like, never mind. You shot me in the arm again. You son of a bitch. Let's get right over here. You will haste, or at least try to haste, Man Bungo. 73%. That is an adequate amount of percenting. Ow! Haste! Whee! Everybody's hasted. 
glad I healed Agrius then. Let's get a little closer and then shoot her in the back. I don't know why she's facing that way. Like, almost everybody who could hit her is coming from this direction. So. Bad choice, but whatever. I'm not gonna argue. Shoot him, Stadia. Ah, look at that damage. You want a gun? For everyone! Thank you. That was so nice of you. That was so thoughtful. Okay, well this fight's in the bag then. We're just gonna take out these two guys. And I don't think, even if I play sloppily, they will be able to get past us at this point. Metal. Pasted and increased speed. Oh, we have so many turns, Ramza. Um, we will try and haste Agnes, I guess. Just to get that little... That bit of experience. That little bit. 65%. Which probably isn't going to happen. Because that is a lousy percentage. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. I like how you're attacking the Time Mage, like, he's the threat you need to worry about. Like, yes, clearly this Time Mage is what's going to be stopping you. Uh, right here, please. Look at that jump. It was ridiculous. Thieves and their jumps. Shoot him. There we go. Aw. Oh. Wish it blinded him. Oh well. What are you doing, Mustadio? Nothing? No, it turns out nothing? Can we attack this guy? Kill him? Can we, can we end this now? No, we can't. Well, we can get close. That's right. You take out that time mage. <laughs> Not Agrius, who's here to stab you in the face with her... Mighty God Sword. Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. Everyone's haste is wearing off. No! <laughs> just, just wait there. You're, you're fine. You're fine. This battle is almost over. Come on. Making me waste time having to... Waste time actually going and doing it. <laughs> this is a time in D&D &D in which I would have called the battle and been like, okay, well, your group mops up the last of them. Blah, blah, blah. Let's continue on. Let us not drag this battle out for more than it needs to be drug out. I did get a job. I think, I think, man, Bungo... Yeah, I used to be a thief level 4 before he could move on. Anyways. Why the... <laughs> Let's try again. Why do they pursue you? Oh my god. Why do they pursue you? Will you not tell us even now? Pray understand, I cannot tell you. Not yet. The battle is won! Did we get anything for it? Ah, uh, money. More money. Holy water. Hey. Meh. Meh. Oops, that was my phone. <laughs> my alarm went off. It's 9.30! As you can see up here in the corner, probably. Our little mockingbird has taken wing after him, and it leaves me wroth. We cannot have her free, catch her, crush her, and make silent her song. Lady Agrius's and the others as well. And Ramza? Hmm. The fool. He soils our name. Dogs my every move. I thought this a chance to let him learn the harsh truths of the world, but the boy is too stubborn. Too much of his father's penchant for justice, that one. Father coddled the boy too much. If he stands aside, more the better. Should he interfere, there's naught can be done. 
and you his brother. Oh, sorry. And you his brother. The blood curdles. If the cardinal moves to defend the mockingbird, what then? Duke Larg himself could not reach the <coughs> umbrage of the church's wing. Worry not, that potentiality has been addressed. Ever three steps ahead, you're a frightening man, Dystar Beov. Truly, would it not be prudent then to better guard your tongue? There are so many frightening ways to silence a bothersome man. Come now, my lord. I am your ever faithful man. And not near so stubborn as a particular knight devout, if I might be so bold. Be bold, but let there be no more missteps. On the matter of on the matter of missteps, what buffoon did you charge with the princess's kidnapping? We were besetting daughters as we gave chase. Not quite how we discussed, I'm sure you'd agree. The men I sent were found dead in the woods near the monastery. Someone has got wind of our plan and seems intent on disrupting it. No matter. As long as Ovelia remains with Lady Agrius, we will have chance enough to steal back our prize. I pray you're right for both our sakes. Okay, so this video has been going on for like 26 minutes and 34 seconds. As of my timer, it's probably been a little bit longer because of editing. So, or I guess a little bit shorter because of editing. So, um, next time we will finally make it to Lionel Castle. We'll see what's going on there. And uh, there might be errands at the end of this video. I think, I think, I know there's some in Zaland. I think I'll go do those now before we head into Lionel. Okay? So like, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole thing you hear at the end of every YouTube video, I'd be super grateful, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye. The Hindenburg. A request has come in to raise a sunken ship. It seems a trade vessel called the Hindenburg went down some 16 sectors into the Bay of Opal. Opal? The professional salvage guild services come too dear, so they're looking for someone to do it on the cheap. Reports, the Hindenburg. We departed Zaland in high spirits. Our task to raise the foundered... Is that how you say that? Foundered? The foundered Hindenburg. The stars were with us from the outset. Raging winds hammered us at sea. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. It was not long before the sea yielded up to us her bounty. There was ample cargo to be found within the ship's hold. One large chest stood out amongst all the others. Bringing it open, we peered within. Inside were bags of gill. Our fortunes could not have been greater. I pray all our missions meet with such success. I have nothing more to report. 17,000 gill. <laughs> Zaland Embassy Antiques. A number of valuables to be noted, donated to the Zaland Embassy were lost when the ship carrying them sunk in a storm. Some valuable antique treasures were among them. If you're interested, you might try raising the vessel. Reports! Zaland Embassy Antiques! We departed Zaland in high spirits, our task to raise a foundered merchant ship. The stars were with us from the outset. The task required great strength of arm. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. It was not long before the sea yielded up to us her bounty. There was ample cargo to be found within the ship's hold. One large chest stood out amongst all the others. Bring it open, we peered within. Before us lay a treasure beyond compare. Our fortune could not have been greater. I pray all our missions meet with such success. Ooh, Goliath bread. I don't think that's a reference. Well. That might be a reference. I'll look it up. We'll talk about it some other episode. Okay. <laughs>